show me and my wife Rhonda are headed out to where my dad's family was raised in a place called Dollar Holler our names as you know is Dollar and they actually named a place I hear Dollar Holler where they all lived also there's a big cave there called Dollar Cave it's been unexplored or anything for about 40 years so we're gonna check it out and see what we can find there is all of our metal detecting gear, pin pointer, metal detectors, shovels, handhelds, everything that we need today. And maybe we'll find some treasure. Anything I find will definitely be from my ancestors. So I'm excited. This is Ronnie Leonard. I'm fixing to take Matt down in Dollar Holler where his daddy was born and raised up at. He's been down there about 50 years. Then we're going to look in Dollar Cave, see if there's any bobcats in it. <laughs> this is where we're going, and we're going to have a good time, and I appreciate Ronnie and his family. His dad's name was Jab, and this is him and his mom. They were good friends of my grandparents. There's some more of his family. And here's a really old picture from back in the day. Oh, yeah. And we're ready to explore. So thank you. See you there. Right through here used to be several uh, apple trees in a row. Uh, see, since I've been through all these trees right here, they come up and grow up here. Uh -huh. And see, my dad said that my granddad had built a road back through here. This is probably it. No, uh, yeah. back when I was little, I was starting up, uh, on the other side of the shack, it was a rough road that circled all the way down. You went down too hard all the way to it, but Lord, it's going up in trees now. So that's probably where you're going to have this to This is Dollar Holler. Yeah. Just a basic one of those now or something. All right. That Dollar Cave lays on the right of that hollow there, up on the hillside, Dollar Cave. The Dollar Cave is right up on that ridge. Now, we just have to find it. We're going to look for the cow first. For the what? We're going to look for their house first. Oh, yeah. If you get snake bit, you got about, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. And this was here last time I was here. And how long ago was that? 39 years. Wow. And I'm saying it again. I think we here probably. That's an old fender, man. Better fit you than you like, you know? Yeah. Uh-uh. I've never time the rain, the water comes down through here. But when I was growing up, you know, uh, <clears throat> this old hill and everything was dry. No springs or nothing. I made my sister take over our parcel in the bottom and, and had cherry water for a long way. You know. Really? 
Yeah, back then, we didn't find the pure nothing. Quite right. Possible cave location. Tune in. Did you find it? Yeah. Found the cave. Yeah, it's steep. Bless your heart. We're making our way. It's awful steep. That's where I'm at. I will. I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? Now, your house was across from it, right? Yeah, I'll go find it next. Dollar Cave. Here we are. Me and Ronnie found the cave. Oh. It's right down in this hole. This tree right here, 39 years ago, my dad hooked a rope around it and lowered me down in this cave. It's been 50 years since I've been here. And we're back. <laughs> Bring your camera up here and look down in this cave. And I'm almost positive there's something alive living in there. So we're not going in the cave today, but we are going to come back with ropes and lights and see what's there. Because when my dad took me down in there 39 years ago, there's an opening in the back. There's a hole you crawl through, and then it gets wider to a big opening. And then there was a ladder made out of logs, and then a wooden bed had been built down in this cave. And like he said, he hadn't been here in 50 years. So it had to be early settlers or something had built that or Indians. I say Indians, would you? Yeah. So this is Dollar Cave, and I'm very proud of it, even though it's in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in a top secret location. Uh, my great aunt, my great aunt. Look, uh, come here, Ron. There's the driveway. Oh, right there. Yeah. There we go. Look, I all my half off, and I'm picking up the yard. <laughs> then he used to fuss at me, <laughs> throwing my toys down. The and driveway to the homestead. So we're in Dollar Holler um, at Matt's family's old homestead. And as you can see, it is literally in the middle of nowhere. This is what's all around us. How amazing it must have been. All right, here's something I found. A little lid, and it says, uh, Fleecy's new cap won't rust or break. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to keep it, and that's my first find. Found it right here, and right there was my dad's house. Rhonda said she had found a piece of an old clock or something. Let's see it. You could see the wheel under my... Okay, she said she found a piece of a clock. Let's see. See the sharp wheels. Let's see what else you got over here. Let's see, there's an old tarpon shell. Turtle shell is really old because it's white. Some old mason jar lids, it's porcelain lined. Probably from the 40s or 50s. There is actual little like Easter plants that my grandma had planted years and years and years ago. Probably 50, 60 years ago. Maybe longer. Hey, so what do you think about this, Ronnie? Pretty cool. It's interesting, isn't it? Interesting, yeah. Right up above here, right over there's the old home place. 
and the cave is kind of over in that area. We just found something. Another jar lid. <laughs> Maybe. What's that right there? I seen a lid right over there in that pile. Yeah, there you go. Another That's what's lid. all through here. Mason jar Here's lid. Here's another one. I bet that's lids what you were picking there. Check it with your pen pointer there. That's, I see it. Rock. Okay. Yeah, if that was it, nothing else there. Okay. Not a lid. I'll take it. Textbook not long ago, about David Boone. I shirked everybody, but it's about David Boone. They buried David Boone in. Uh, Yeah, I seen it and they moved him. They yeah. found his family and everything. Him yep. and his wife. Yeah, they buried him uh, for Oregon, I mean, some of it north. And the Tucky want his body moved back to Tucky where he built Boone's or something like that. So, what are we going to do if we see a bear? Spider. Hang on, something under. Come up and down and scream and holler and make as much noise as you can. We just had to shoot because a bear can climb a tree. No, he climb a tree. And uh, a bear runs pretty fast. You need to run. Can... You know what? <laughs> I can run a lot faster than a bear. You'll see me sprint <laughs> like an Olympic runner if I see one. Three lines of barbed wire going through the middle of this tree. Oh, and that's what you're picking up. Probably where my granddad and him had a fence. Yeah, right here. So here's that bob wire Rhonda was talking about. Look at that growing right into this tree. Three pieces of it. It's amazing. My, just to think, my granddad put that there. So Rhonda just yelled and she had found something. And look at this old ceramic coated pan she found. We don't know if it's a piece of a bed pan or just a... I think that's just an old pan. But we'll take it. <laughs> Guys, it looks like junk. But to me, this is part of my family's history from... 30s and 40s cool old jar look at that just think my grandparents used that this is an old oil filter out of a car from the 40s you take this nut off right here take this out and there's a filter in there so i think the next old antique car i build i'm gonna use that and then here is an old that pot i found up there no good but valuable to me and a brick from the old home place, the Dollar House and Dollar Holler. Okay, so Rhonda just found something. Her battery's almost dead. Here it is. Okay. Try to hurry. What is that? It's stuck down in there. Oh, oh my Looky God. Looky there. This is a spike like you'd split wood with. Gotta be at That's least awesome. 70 years old. That's it. That's awesome. Now this is a rock that Ronnie used to set on 51 years ago. And this is the first time he's been back. So shout out to Ronnie. Say hi to everybody there. Howdy. Love y'all. So 51 years later, Ronnie's back, and it's called Rock Bluff. Well, we made it back. There comes poor old Ronnie. Rhonda's way coming. I see her back there coming. <laughs>